Hey everybody, my name is Michael Parker. I'm a deacon candidate for the Diocese of Baton Rouge, and I want to share with you my story. So there was a song that came out in the 60s by a man who was titled The Godfather of Soul, James Brown. He had the song titled, This is a Man's World. And in the song he says, this is a man's world, but it would be nothing without a woman or a girl. The song speaks volumes to me just because myself and my formation for the man that I have become today, the women in my life have played a vital role. Started with my mother. My mother is a woman that is deeply rooted in the faith. She felt that if we didn't center our lives around Christ, that nothing else mattered. She used to say that if we didn't give our time to the Lord, then we couldn't do anything. Then me being the youngest of my siblings, the baby boy, my older siblings are female. So they gave me a different perspective of how it is to live my life if I was growing up throughout the years. And then I fell in love. I fell in love with the love of my life, my wife, who lifts me up in times when I need and also motivates me. And it's also there to help me carry any heavy burden that I may feel is too heavy for me to carry by myself. And just like the nursery rhyme says, first comes love, then comes marriage, and here comes Michael with a baby carriage. It was June 6, 2014, a day that I'll always remember. See, this was the day when my firstborn daughter came into the world, but when she came from the womb, she didn't have a heartbeat. She coded. And I remember the uncertainty that was going throughout the room, how nervous I was. I couldn't, I just panicked. And literally I'm thinking to myself, Lord, I, I can't do this. This is something that I can't do. Lord, what do I do at this moment? And I hear the cries from myself and I hear the cries from my wife. And thanks be to God, I hear the cries from my daughter because there's life within her. She is breathing. You know, it's often said that when men have their children, that they make a dramatic change. But it wasn't, it wasn't that for me, no. It was a deep conversion that happened for me at that time. A conversion of heart to make sure that I wanted to be open to the graces that the Lord had to give me so that I can truly know of his love and his mercy. So with that being said, I have decided and the Lord has called me to serve him and his church. And I want to desire to do this all the days of my life.